Good evening and welcome to Basketball Wrap. I'm your host, Bruce Palmer. We've got an awful lot of show, action-packed show of mirth and mayhem. We've got some very, very special guests. The head coach of the Melbourne Tigers and the current NBL Coach of the Year, Alan Westover. Al, lock and load. <laughs> welcome aboard. And to his right, Chris Anstey. MVP of the final series last year in the NBL, and if I'm, correct, if I'm not right, you correct me. Three years in the NBA. That's right. And they played over in Russia, and he's going to give us the ingredients to borscht a little later. Lock and load, <laughs> man. Welcome aboard. Thank you. And as always, our resident celebrity for hire, Rob Scheidner. Scheib, thanks for making the time. Oh, you know it. You won't miss it, will you? No. All right, well, we had the, thank you. We had the NBL <laughs> Blitz on this weekend. It was rocking the Casbah down at Coffs Harbor. Uh, the Brisbane Bullets, our very own, seeing as we were taped right here in Briz 31, got up and over the Melbourne Tigers in the final. Last year, it was the repeat of the last year's grand final where the Melbourne Tigers won the preseason blitz and, as fate would have it, went on to win the NBL championship. So let's, have, let's talk a little bit about the Melbourne Tigers. Some injuries. He had some injuries through it. Chris didn't play in the final. He only played in a couple of the games, didn't he? Uh, Chris is coming back from a knee injury. He's Why don't we let Chris talk for himself? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought you were looking at me. <laughs> well, let's talk about the Tigers first. <laughs> it's going to be that kind of show. A lot of interruptions, a lot of rude stuff, a lot of humor at other people's expense. But let's go back to the Tigers. We had some injuries. We had some injuries. Chris missed uh, the last three games, and so did uh, DT, Dave Thomas, and uh, Rashad Tucker. They had some minor injuries, and um, we played the Bullets again tonight in a practice match at Marici door, and uh, hopefully they'll be right to play, but at this stage, it's pretty doubtful. Is that anywhere near Marucci door? <laughs> it is, I think. <laughs> Very close? Near the RSL. <laughs> yeah, cloud. And Marucci as we RSL. all know, who followed the exploits of the Boomers and Japan at the World Championships, Chris Hansi didn't go. Chris, you're recovering from a little bit of a dicky knee. <laughs> yeah, I, um, it hadn't been good for probably, probably the last six months, and... Uh, Andrew Bogut actually fell across it in the, in the game in Hobart against New Zealand. And so it wasn't Piper a dancing injury? It wasn't a dancing <laughs> injury. Uh, it would have been rare if it was, I'll tell you. Um, no, he, uh, he fell across it, hyperextended the knee and, and partially tore the, the medial cruciate ligament. So, uh, yeah, that was about eight weeks ago now. And like Al said, just trying to uh, work my way back into it. Any swelling? Any inflammation? <laughs> Not at this stage. It's going well. I'm talking about your knee. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it's going to be that kind of show. Hey, uh, and now last year, to the NBL's great benefit, and certainly that specifically of the Melbourne Tigers, you returned from a stint in Russia. Give us the juice. <laughs> it, it, I was there three years. Played uh, my first year in a city called Perm. Uh, team spell it. P-E-R-M. Okay. <laughs> As you spell yeah. Perm. Like how we used to wear our hair, Rob. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, went to Kazan for two years and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, look, it was three pretty tough years and uh, purely financial to go over there originally and, you know, probably kept me coming back. I was planned on being there a year or two and, you know, ended up staying a bit longer than I did. But uh, my wife and I had a pact that we've got two young kids that when our kids got to an age where they were ready to start school, we'd come home. And uh, the stars aligned, you know, there were a bunch of vacancies at the Tigers. Al became coach and uh, it was a perfect fit for me. So uh, it, was, it was a fantastic year coming back. Alan, of course, is full of glee <laughs> with the return of Chris Anstey. But what Alan did, uh, those viewers who weren't aware, though I did say he is the current coach of the year, first up in the saddle, Al, to take him all the way and win the grand final. How did that feel? Yeah, it felt pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no need to elaborate. I think we can all understand that. That's but the kind of question you know, expect the big, on the big show. test. You were there. What people, a lot of people don't know, and we're not going to share it with a lot of people. You were the assistant coach for... 14 seasons. I believe so. Yeah. Alan, no doubt you guys got a lot out of the Blitz, but you know, from, from your perspective, who from the Blitz would you say is going to be tough? Take a top four, top five. Oh, I, I really think the league's gone up a notch, Bruce. Uh, you look around, I think most teams have improved. So I think overall the league is going to be a, a very tough league once again and tougher than it was last year. And I'm um, I think you have to look at Brisbane. They're, they're going to be very good. They're very good in the blitz, and they're missing a few of their standouts. So you have to look at them as one of the top sides. And, uh, of course, Gorgians, Sydney Kings are, are going to be right up there. So I, I think they're two of the favorites. 
But uh, Kansas is going to be a very good team. Uh, I think Adelaide will surprise a lot of people. They had some changes, and people weren't sure about that. And uh, Perth showed that they're going to be very big and physical and a, and a team to really, that you got to reckon with. And uh, probably another one of the big surprises is the other Queensland team, Townsville. They're, they're very good in the tournament. So um, it's hard to say at this stage, but when you're watching those games there, it looks like most teams have improved, and it's going to make for a lot better and more exciting league. Chris, what team stank? <laughs> well, the ones that L didn't mention, apparently. <laughs> um, none of them really stank. Um, we didn't get a, t get a chance to see a lot of them. Um, Singapore were probably ordinary, and I think they'll have a pretty long year. Um, hopefully they can get a bit out of their home court advantage, but they'll, uh, they'll take a while to build. Um, I think New Zealand will be better. I think, you know, if you look down the league and try to pick a team that's not going to make the finals, you'd probably say Singapore. West Sydney have a couple more to come back, but if, if James Harvey's injured, they'll get, they're going to struggle a bit. Um, everyone else, it's, you know, there are no easy games. How about that other new franchise, the Dragons? The Dragons? The new rival. They'll be good. We have, I, haven't, I haven't seen a minute of them. Uh, we play them next week in a practice game, so we look forward to that. But, uh, you know, they're, they're doing the whole promotional thing in Melbourne, the whole we're coming thing, and, you know, we're probably going to start something to say we're already there. <laughs> and uh, we like being where we are better than where they're coming to. For all you viewers who aren't real big basketball aficionados, at one time there were five NBL teams in, in the city of Melbourne. Now it's cut down to, of course, our champions of the NBL, the Melbourne Tigers. And now with the new rivalry, that's going to bring some juice, I. Eh? Oh, yeah, it's great for basketball there. I mean, we really enjoyed being the only team last year, and everybody got right behind it, and that, that was great. But um, another team in the city, you can already feel the, the rivalry heating up, and um, it's going to be pretty intense. And they've recruited very well; they got some talent there, so uh, it's going beyond. And uh, it, it helps basketball because you know they're really pumping it up, like Chris says. So it's more basketball in the news, and that's better for all of us. Okay, we got more mirth and merriment after these words. And welcome back. Shai, you had a question for Chris. <laughs> oh, well, I just knew that you were uh, married to the famous Lindley Frame, the uh, Olympic swimmer, and I was just wanted to know, what do you think <laughs> for your children, swimmers or basketball players? I think uh, my daughter's just turned five. She'll be a swimmer. She, uh, she's got horrible hand-eye but can swim 50 meters in a few different strokes already, um, so she'll do that. I think uh, my son will, will go more along the lines of what I do. He's in there with you know, good ball skills and can catch already, so... Uh, she can have the getting up at four o'clock in the morning, taking Isabel to uh, to swim, and I'll get up at do the Friday night thing and, and take Ethan to basketball. Sounds fair to me. I agree. You know, we had a huge weekend. Uh, these guys came up from Coffs Harbor. I actually drove Al from Coffs. Al, how am I driving in the evening? <laughs> well, it kept, it kept me awake. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he had white knuckles the whole way back. <laughs> we had the, uh, the good friends of Compete put a, 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 a what do you call it? Uh, sponsored our, ba our coaches conference and Alan of course we don't just have him on TV shows we got the full use of him at the coaches conference I was surprised shy the turnout we had a very good turnout we had famous people there you know Al West over Joey Wright there was one other guy that had coached a little bit they've been there too I can't remember oh well, that was you Bruce that was me yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I great line I yelled a lot at the coaches and said <laughs> it's a really good way to get the kids to learn and we had a very guest Robert Sibley our uh, player of, of legend extraordinary status from the Brisbane championship Bullets winner and Melbourne from Tigers, Tigers. Who great stated that one of his greatest moments was of course winning a championship with the Melbourne Tigers and spoke fondly and uh, reflectively over his time with the Tigers